When we think about car wheels, they might seem like a straightforward component, four circular objects that just roll to move the car. But behind this simplicity lies a long, complex history of innovation. Wheels are more than just circles. They're engineering marvels that handle intense forces, impact vehicle performance, and even influence safety and comfort. The earliest known wheels weren't created for cars, but they played a foundational role in the development of transportation. Initially, wheels were used on simple carts to move goods and heavy objects over long distances, revolutionizing how early societies worked and traded. The first known wheels date back to Mesopotamia around 3500 BCE, where they were crafted from solid materials like stone and wood. These wheels were simple in design, but they laid the groundwork for complex engineering solutions to transportation needs. The Mesopotamian wheel set a precedent, showing how a basic concept could transform societies by enabling faster and more efficient movement of people and resources. Over time, the transition from stone to wood allowed for lighter, more durable wheels that could carry greater loads. This shift wasn't just about material, it was a leap in practicality and utility. Lighter wooden wheels made carts more efficient, encouraging longer journeys and the development of more advanced road networks. Eventually, solid wheels evolved into spoked wheels, a significant advancement. By removing excess material from the wheel's interior, spoked wheels reduced weight while maintaining strength. This made them ideal for faster, more mobile transportation methods, paving the way for wheel technology that would be adapted by future vehicles like carriages and bicycles. As the Industrial Revolution unfolded, the wheel's next evolution came with the development of the first motor vehicles. Interestingly, the bicycle played an influential role in shaping early car wheels. Bicycle wheels, which were lighter and more resilient than cart wheels, inspired the design of early car wheels. They demonstrated that thinner, air-filled tires could offer a smoother, faster ride than the heavier wheels found on wagons and carriages. Early cars adopted wagon-like wheels due to their familiarity but they soon became a limitation as cars grew faster and more sophisticated. Wooden spoked wheels, similar to those used on carriages, were initially popular, but they lacked the durability and comfort required for motorized vehicles. Early car wheels were primarily made of wood and steel, combining the materials available at the time. Steel gave wheels the strength needed to support heavier vehicles, while wood helped keep the wheel relatively lightweight. Then, in 1888, John Dunlop revolutionized the car wheel by inventing the pneumatic tire, a tire filled with air to absorb shocks and reduce bumps. This simple but effective innovation greatly improved comfort and handling. Dunlop's pneumatic tire allowed for a smoother ride, making it possible for cars to travel faster while protecting passengers from rough terrains. This breakthrough in tire design marked the beginning of the wheel as we know it today. Goodyear discovered a process that transformed natural rubber into a durable material that could withstand various weather conditions. This vulcanization process made rubber stronger, more flexible, and less likely to deteriorate, making it ideal for wheels and eventually for the automotive industry. With the introduction of rubber tires, cars became much smoother and more comfortable to drive. Rubber tires absorbed more shocks than wooden or steel wheels giving passengers a less jarring experience. This improvement in comfort was a major step forward in making cars more accessible to a wider audience. Rubber tires evolved from solid rubber constructions to inflatable pneumatic tires. Solid rubber was initially popular as it was durable and less prone to punctures. However, pneumatic tires filled with air soon became the norm because they provided far better shock absorption. As these inflatable tires improved, they also became more reliable, with thicker treads and stronger materials. The shift to rubber tires not only improved comfort, but also boosted vehicle durability and speed. Rubber's flexibility and resilience allowed cars to move faster and tackle rougher terrains with less wear and tear. Rubber tires, in short, made cars more versatile and resilient, setting the stage for the high-speed, all-terrain vehicles we see today. Metal rims were first introduced in the late 1800s providing a stronger, more durable foundation for tires compared to the wooden or iron rims of previous wheels. These early metal rims, though basic in design, laid the groundwork for more sophisticated rims that could handle the higher speeds and greater loads of motorized vehicles. As cars advanced, manufacturers began to experiment with different metals, 
leading to the development of steel and alloy rims. While steel rims were durable and affordable, alloy rims gained popularity due to their lighter weight and improved performance. The benefits of lighter materials like aluminum alloys became evident as they reduced the car's overall weight, improving fuel efficiency, acceleration, and handling. This focus on performance made alloy rims a top choice for high performance and luxury vehicles alike. Aesthetic appeal soon became an important consideration for rims. As car culture grew, especially in the mid 20th century, rims evolved from purely functional components to stylistic statements. The rise of custom and decorative rims reflected the growing demand for personalized vehicles with different rim designs signaling sportiness, luxury, or utility. In the early days, tires were smooth and lacked tread patterns, which limited their grip on wet or uneven surfaces. Around the 1900s, the introduction of tread patterns significantly improved traction, allowing cars to safely navigate in various weather conditions and on rougher roads. Tread patterns are not just for looks, they directly influence a car's grip, stability, and safety. Different tread designs allow tires to push water away in wet conditions, grip onto loose surfaces in off-road conditions, and maintain stability on dry, paved roads. Tread patterns have evolved to suit various terrains and driving needs. All weather tires typically have a balanced tread that can handle both dry and wet conditions. In contrast, off-road tires feature deeper and more rugged patterns for optimal grip on dirt, mud, and gravel. Specialized tread designs allow manufacturers to create tires tailored for everything from highway cruising to extreme off-road adventures, ensuring that drivers have safe and reliable traction wherever they go. The invention of the tubeless tire in 1947 eliminated the need for a separate inner tube within the tire. Instead, air was sealed directly between the tire and rim, simplifying the design and reducing the risk of sudden blowouts. Tubeless tires provided numerous benefits such as better handling, increased puncture resistance, and easier maintenance. Without an inner tube, the tire was less likely to lose air quickly when punctured, which allowed for safer, controlled deceleration. Tubeless tires also influenced wheel design and materials, as manufacturers had to create rims with airtight seals to accommodate the new tire style. This shift required more precise manufacturing and better materials, ultimately leading to stronger, lighter rims that could enhance both performance and safety. The tubeless tire remains the industry standard today, a testament to its significant impact. Radial tires, introduced by Michelin, featured a unique construction where the tire's plies, internal layers, were arranged perpendicularly to the direction of travel. This structure allowed the sidewalls and tread to flex independently, enhancing both comfort and handling. Radial construction improved tire traction, durability, and longevity. The added flexibility of the sidewalls allowed the tread to maintain better contact with the road, which increased grip and improved overall stability especially at higher speeds. The transition from bias ply to radial tires was a major shift for the automotive industry. Radial tires quickly became the standard as they offered superior performance compared to traditional bias ply tires. Their increased longevity and enhanced handling capabilities marked a turning point, allowing cars to reach higher speeds safely and requiring fewer tire replacements. This innovation set the stage for modern high-performance tires forever altering the design and expectations of car wheels. Wheel size has increased significantly over time, largely for reasons related to performance, aesthetics, and consumer preference. Larger wheels offer several benefits, including better handling, improved stability, and a more aggressive look that has become popular in modern car culture. Car manufacturers have responded to demand by equipping vehicles with larger wheels, which give vehicles a sportier, more powerful appearance. Customizable rims became increasingly popular, especially in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. They allow drivers to personalize their vehicles, showcasing their personality or embracing certain styles, such as luxury or sport. Customized rims are often associated with car culture movements, like lowrider and street racing scenes, highlighting how rims are not just functional, but an expression of style. The trend toward low-profile tires has also contributed to the popularity of larger wheels, Low-profile tires, tires with a shorter sidewall height, provide a sleek look while offering performance benefits, like improved handling and cornering stability. This combination of aesthetics and performance appeals to those looking for a sportier ride experience, 
and a more aggressive vehicle profile. Racing wheels have greatly influenced the design and construction of everyday car wheels. Racing demands high performance, so race wheels are built to withstand extreme conditions and provide optimal handling. As a result, innovations from racing, such as lightweight materials and structural reinforcements, eventually became integrated into mainstream car wheels. Lightweight materials like magnesium and carbon fiber are often used in racing wheels to improve speed and handling. By reducing the rotational mass, these materials allow race cars to accelerate faster and maneuver more easily. This technology eventually made its way into consumer vehicles, particularly in high-performance and luxury cars, where alloy wheels are often preferred for their lightweight properties and enhanced performance. Innovations like bead locks, which lock the tire to the wheel rim, were developed for off-road racing to ensure the tire doesn't slip during extreme conditions. Beadlocks improve traction, especially in rugged terrains, and have since become popular in off-road vehicles, making them more capable of tackling harsh environments with minimal risk of tire dislodgement. Alloy wheels, made from aluminum or magnesium alloys, differ from traditional steel wheels in both weight and performance. Alloy wheels are significantly lighter, which reduces a car's unsprung weight and improves handling and fuel efficiency. Steel wheels, while strong and durable, are much heavier, limiting their performance benefits and fuel economy. Alloy wheels have become the standard for most modern vehicles due to their ideal balance of strength, lightness, and style. They're not only functional, but can be easily molded into various designs, allowing manufacturers to produce wheels that are both visually appealing and high-performing. Forged wheels, created through a process of intense heating and shaping, are among the strongest and most durable wheels available. This process aligns the metal's grain structure, making forged wheels stronger than cast wheels. Their durability makes them a popular choice for high-performance and luxury vehicles, as they can withstand high stress without compromising on weight or style. Run-flat tires are designed to stay functional, even after losing air pressure, allowing drivers to continue driving for a short distance in case of a puncture, while run-flats provide peace of mind by eliminating the need for a spare tire. They do have some trade-offs, such as a stiffer ride and higher cost. Self-sealing tires have a built-in sealant that automatically plugs small punctures as they occur. This feature makes them especially useful for urban drivers who frequently encounter rough roads and sharp debris, reducing the likelihood of a flat tire and minimizing the need for immediate repairs. The introduction of eco-friendly tire materials has also been an important advancement. Some modern tires are made with sustainable materials like silica or natural rubber substitutes, which reduce environmental impact during manufacturing and disposal. These materials contribute to a lower carbon footprint, aligning with the broader industry shift towards sustainability. Eco-friendly tires reflect how the automotive industry continues to innovate, with an eye toward preserving performance while reducing environmental impact. Wheel shape plays a critical role in determining how air flows around a vehicle. Aerodynamic wheels are designed to minimize drag, which can enhance fuel efficiency by reducing resistance as the vehicle moves. This focus on aerodynamics is especially important for electric and hybrid vehicles, where every bit of efficiency can translate into extended range. The development of aerodynamic wheel covers further demonstrates this principle. These covers are engineered to streamline airflow around the wheel, helping to reduce turbulence and drag. Car manufacturers increasingly integrate these features into their designs, especially in models aimed at maximizing fuel efficiency or performance. The concept of closed versus open wheels also highlights the impact of design on performance. Closed wheels, often seen in high efficiency or racing vehicles, are more aerodynamic and can reduce drag. In contrast, open wheels, common in many sports cars, offer better cooling for brakes and improved handling, but can increase drag. The choice between these designs often balances performance needs with aerodynamic considerations, influencing how cars perform on the road. The introduction of tire pressure monitoring systems, TPMS, in the 2000s, was a major leap forward in automotive safety and performance. This system alerts drivers when tire pressure is low, helping to prevent blowouts and ensuring optimal tire performance. By maintaining correct tire pressure, TPMS can enhance fuel efficiency and extend tire life. The benefits of smart tires with embedded sensors extend beyond just monitoring pressure. These sensors can provide real-time data on tire temperature, tread wear, 
and overall performance. Such information empowers drivers to make informed decisions about maintenance, ultimately leading to safer driving conditions and improved vehicle longevity. Adaptive tire pressure systems, which adjust tire pressure based on varying road conditions, represent the cutting edge of wheel technology. These systems can automatically increase or decrease tire pressure depending on whether the vehicle is on a smooth highway or a rough off-road trail, optimizing traction and performance in real time. Fact 64. The ongoing debate between synthetic and natural rubber reflects this evolution. Synthetic rubber offers consistency and can be tailored for specific performance characteristics, while natural rubber is valued for its superior grip and comfort. The choice between these materials often depends on the intended use of the tire, whether for performance or durability. Recycling has also become a key focus in tire manufacturing. As the demand for sustainable practices grows, the industry is shifting toward more eco-friendly materials and recycling processes. Used tires can be repurposed into new products, significantly reducing waste and environmental impact and contributing to a circular economy. Additionally, nanotechnology is beginning to play a role in tire performance. By incorporating nanoparticles into the rubber, manufacturers can enhance durability, grip and resistance to wear. This cutting-edge technology promises to elevate tire performance while maintaining a focus on safety and sustainability. The popularization of chrome and blacked-out wheels has transformed vehicle aesthetics, allowing owners to personalize their rides. Chrome wheels give a flashy, classic look, while blacked-out options create a sleek, aggressive appearance. These choices not only enhance the car's visual appeal, but also play a role in personal expression. Different finishes have emerged as significant trends, including matte, gloss, and polished looks. Matte finishes provide a modern, understated appearance, while gloss finishes can highlight the sleekness of a wheel design. Polished wheels, often seen on luxury vehicles, reflect a timeless elegance. These various finishes cater to a range of tastes, enabling drivers to customize their vehicles to suit their style and preferences. As we explore the intricate evolution of car wheels and tires, we can appreciate how they reflect advancements in technology, performance, and aesthetics. The journey from simple wooden wheels to high-tech smart tires illustrates not just a change in materials and design, but also a significant cultural shift in how we view and use our vehicles. If you enjoyed this exploration of the evolution of car wheels, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating insights into automotive technology and history.